Hello YouTube, it is your boy Naj, and today I just wanted to uh, hop on cam just for like a couple minutes and talk about part five of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Um, yes, I know I'm late, whatever. And yes, I know this looks weird, but also whatever. So um, I just finished episode 39 of part five. Um, I have yet to start reading the the manga for part six, so please no spoilers in the comments. But I just want to give my thoughts on, I guess, part five as a whole. Um, the beginning of part five, I'm not going to lie, kind of had me skeptical because I wasn't sure. Um, I wasn't really sure what was going to happen with Giorno. I know he had like the dream to be uh, the boss, uh, a gangster or whatever. Um, I wasn't really too, really, really, bleh, wasn't really too, uh, hype compared to like three and four. Um, this is just initially, right? So as part five goes on, I kind of open up to it more, right? Um, and in my opinion, it didn't really start getting good until, uh, the Hitman team started going after, uh, Butrati and his gang pretty much Giorno and all those cats so I mean that's when for me it started to like rev up and be like okay this is late um so yeah out of so scale of one to ten I would give part five in my opinion probably like an eight out of ten I haven't read uh part six and mis I might be mistaken but I think there's a part seven I'm not sure um, I have the Eyes of Heaven game, which I do want to do a, a playthrough on YouTube for. But I think it mentioned something about Part 7. I don't know. All I know is I was going through the character roster and knew, like, 15 of, like, the 60 characters. That's neither here nor there. Um, but as far as the ending of Part 5 goes, I will say it was... It was kind of cool to see that if they hadn't of um... If they hadn't have destroyed the rock, so let's say um, Bruno touched the rock, he would have died, right? He would have died right there, and that would have been it. Bruno would have died. Giorno probably wouldn't have gotten to uh, gotten a passione. So it's like that's kind of trippy, but it's also kind of cool at the same time because it's like because <laughs> because Misa jumped out the window, shattered the rock. At, at the end, it saw um, it turned into uh, Abakio's, uh, Naranchas, and uh, Butrati's heads, all three of them. Which I thought it kind of hit me because it's kind of like it's kind of sad knowing that like if if Bruno had a touch to rock, Bruno would have died, and the anime would have been completely different. Um, the fight between <laughs> the fight between Giorno and the uh, Diavolo was trippy trippy as absolute hell um that was probably one of the trippiest anime fights i've seen um it was wild but was it a thrill absolutely that was it was very very good um for what it was being jojo's and the wackiness and zaniness of jojo's bizarre adventure it fit the theme perfectly um I'm kind of sad to see the anime adaptation end. I know it ended forever ago, and I'm just now watching it. But it kind of makes me sad because, like, everybody that always told me I should watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and I was always hesitant. But once I started it and started, like, getting involved, like, with the characters, like, when, when Abakio died, I cried, dude. Like, that hurt me more than when Narancia died or when Bruno died because it felt like he he couldn't fight like he literally could not defend himself I mean Narancia couldn't either because Emperor Crimson blitzed him and hung him on some poles spoiler alert but the fact that all this is spoiler so I'm so sorry um the fact that he got sucker punched and literally died like right there and then with Narancia trying to bring it back or asking Giorno to heal him that I felt that 
<laughs> I felt that. That hurt me. Um, that was that was emotional. Um, part five was just beautiful. Like I said, eight out of ten, maybe eight point five out of ten. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to get on cam and kind of express how I felt about part five and the last couple episodes in general. Um, the end and scene after the credits, the end credit scene where Jorano was sitting there in his black suit and Mista and Polnareff were just chilling on the damn windowsill and then Giorno had all the lackeys like kissing his hands. That was absolute fire. I wish Giorno had a wore a black suit the whole time, but whatever. Um but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the little video. Um I'm not sure what anime I'm gonna start watching next. Um I guess I could pick up season two attack on Titan but can see what the hype's about maybe um but if you have any anime that you recommend i watch uh leave a comment in the comment section below and i will get on that but without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and ski dad and i'll catch you guys on the next stream bye